my head at night. I pray to God, watch over me, cause I ain't living right. Reminiscing how I told you that I've been hurt. Hey guys, uh, welcome to welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna do a oil change on the 2015 chevy sonic you already know it's a four cylinder motor it takes 5w30 motor oil have the dexter sign that you know that is chevy is basically gm motors uh yeah let's get down to business you know we have the uh, the jack right here and we have a jack stand right here we're gonna get everything set up to show you guys we have the oil right here as well I'm gonna show you uh, the filter the filters right here we don't have the the part to take this filter off but we're gonna substitute and see if we could get it off with something else uh, Here's the filter that we're gonna use. And yeah, this is the filter that we're gonna use. Um this is the oil, got it from uh O'Reilly, full synthetic 5W30 motor oil, they go to Dexter sign. So you know it's 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 certified for uh all gasoline engine and Dexas approved which is you know that's uh GM uh Chevy so yeah it's gonna get to the bottom I don't even know what uh thing that it uses for the for draining the oil but we're gonna see I have a, like a 15 I'm gonna see and I'll let you guys know all right guys we all need the vehicle as you can see right there at the top hold on be careful you don't want to strip it okay you got it so that's where the drain that's where the um the drain plug I'm sorry guys that I sound like this but it's hot it is blazing out here but uh, yeah, that's where the drain plug at. We have a pan. You already um took the the red thing yeah. out of the pan. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, perfect, yeah, perfect, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you gonna wait on the glove? Yeah, you can wait on the glove. Yeah, it's gonna be too messy. Yeah. All right. So as you can see, the plug is right there. We're waiting to uh, to get a glove to so we don't want to be too messy today have my jack stands for extra protection and I still have the jack that's up that's holding it got two rocks at the back as well to hold in case the vehicle don't roll back so and, and, the emergency. and we have the emergency break. lock brake that to hold it to hold back to hold the uh, the vehicle so you don't yeah so the vehicle don't roll back <sighs> hope you guys enjoying your day stay safe out there you know corona going on Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helps out. So right now we're taking the plug off. There we go, draining the oil. I say give it probably about five minutes mm -hmm. until everything is completely drained. So it's a 15 millimeter to take off the plug. You could use this or you could use the socket. You could use something like this or if the leverage, this is the most important side because if you use the other side, you could, it's a highly recommended. You will, um, a highly chance that you, you could strip the plug if you use this side. So every time when you're gonna drain the oil, make sure you use this side of the, of the wrench or you could use, one of these right here one of these right here this one is extended you know easier and just make sure you turn it left to unlock it and right to tighten it so 
We go straight in. And we're gonna uh, go back to the top and see if we could uh, remove that uh, that oil filter. So we're gonna just leave this, let it continue draining, and we're gonna get to the, uh, the to the filter. Try to get it off. Hi right, guys. So um, we was having a hard time with the filter wrench. So we had to get a 24, um, 24 millimeter, and this is how we basically get off the the filter. And you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And before you take it all the way out, let me uh, bring the the pan to so the oil don't drain out on the floor. That should be good, right? Yeah. All right, let's go back up. Yeah, that should be good. Perfect. There you go. And that's how it looks. And take it out. Uh, hold on. Drop it right here, right here, right here, right here. Yeah, just pull it out. Pull it out, pull it, pull, 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 pull. pull. Just pull it, just pull it. Yeah, yeah. Pop this one in. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta oil it, right? Wanna clean it out? Hold on. Look, drain it out in the in the pan. You close to the pan, right? Yeah, just drain it out in there. Yeah. Yeah, just pull it out. Pull it out. Yeah. Ah, right, yeah. Just pop that in there. And you have anything to? To take so, off the yeah, take off that rubber piece, that seal. Yeah, just take it off. Let's take the whole thing off. Alright, this is the new one. Yeah, all the way to the end. Perfect. All right. Now let's screw that back in. All right. You could use the what? Turn it that way. Remember to tighten it. It's not left no more. It's right. Yeah. And one, two. That's it. Don't tighten it. Don't over tighten it. Yeah, not too tight. That's good. All right. Now to put on the. Uh, the plug. All right, we're about to put back on the plug. No, it's going right this time. Yep. Yep, that's good. No need to over tighten. You don't want to strip the threads. Perfect. All 
All right, now is to drain the oil, to pour the oil. All right, so we're using the 5W30 uh, O'Reilly full synthetic. Go ahead. I'm at the, the wrong angle. Go ahead, though, you're good. Yeah. Nah, the whole thing, basically, because that's like a, that's a four, yeah, that's a four quart. And uh, there you have it, guys. We're about to start up the engine, put the cap back on, start the engine, and you could check the the stick, but what we usually do, um is make sure the car is sitting a a flat surface and you could check you could check the uh the dipstick to see how it's how it's level but we're going to drop the car and everything remove the uh hold on remove the uh the jack stands first Pull it up, pull up, pull it up, pull it up, or drop, pull it, push it down, push it down. It's down or up? Okay, it's pull up then. Hold on. Hold on, let me get it better. There we go. And drop the car. Perfect. All right, now go start the engine. Hi right, guys, this is how you um, reset the oil life for the 2000 2015 Chevy Sonic. Right here, you see the menu button. You could just press the menu button until you get to that, to this symbol right here, that oil symbol. As you can see, it's at zero. And this button right here, you basically hold it in until it's until it beeps. So let me try to man. I can't even. All right, so hold it in. I heard the beep, and it turned to 100 percent. And that's how you reset the oil light for 2015 Chevy Sonic. Easy and simple. You just hold this button right here. Once you see the, the oil light symbol, hold it down until you hear, hear a beep, then release it. It turned to 100%. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a safe and blessed day. And I'm out of here. Peace and bye-bye. That's how you complete the oil change and reset the oil light for the 2015 Chevy uh, Sonic. Peace. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into the money, get into the money.